Hey guys, welcome to another Substance tutorial today, and this is going to be one for showing you how to make alphas and things that you can use to mask off areas to create details and things that you wouldn't normally be able to create within Painter. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to quickly show you how you can go about making an alpha. You can use any type of shape. What I normally like to do is I use a square canvas. This is 1024 by 1024. Um, you can... Um, color your canvas um, black because it's always going to be a, a black and white or a grayscale image which is going to be for your alpha. Now I'm going to get my logo and I'm just going to copy that and put that into this um, sort of container that we've got here and we're going to turn this into something that we can use in a modeling substance. I'm not really taking um, a great deal of effort to put all this in here so that's going to be like that for now and we need to make this a sort of black and white image so what I'm going to do is with that um, object selected I'll go adjustments and I will say black and white I'll press OK I'll go image um, adjustments and then I will go to curves and I will adjust the curve until we get a completely um, sort of white version of my logo let's say and then we can almost use this as an alpha or a stamp or something that we can use within our model then what I'll do is I'll just save this out you can save this out as a PSD you can save this out as a tag a PNG whatever you need to um, then I'm gonna go into painter and I've got an object here that I'm gonna want to maybe paint my logo onto and it's just a sort of chromey pitch frame now I'm gonna maybe put the logo on the back to add a little bit of extra detail what you can do is when you're in your sort of main shelf you can click on this box here which is import resources you can drag it in but this is the way I normally like to do it you can click add resources and then from there you want to just find the um, image that you want to use and then once you're there you'll ha I'll have the alpha that I want. Click on the undefined box and change this to alpha. Then I'm going to import the resources. You can import it to your current session so it'll only be used there. Um, or when you close it it'll be gone again. You can import it to this actual project itself so only when you open this project will that um, alpha appear. Or you can import it to your shelf so no matter what project you actually have. And it's usually if you've made an alpha why not use it across all things if you're using something generic like I might want to use this across many assets then I'll click import and it will be imported to my alpha shelf you can click on your alphas folder to see it you can click in your search box and I will click um, type st alpha and then when you see that you can see my alpha at the bottom and if I hover over it you can see it there now what I usually like to do is that maybe on my main body here I will select on the material that I've got I'm gonna add a new fill layer and I'm gonna right click on this fill layer and add a black mask and from here I'll then choose my alpha that I want to use and it will go into the alpha slot now this is the way I usually like to paint alphas you can put it into the stencil slot and paint it like that but what I like to do is like we can scale up a little bit and we could just click that with a sort of left click on the back and because these all share the same sort of UV coordinates and um, you will get a I actually get a repeat of the alpha that I've just created now seen as the alpha stamped on that's pretty much all you need to know and then you can go back to your material for instance so we have it there what we could do is we could possibly remove the color remove the roughness material and leave the height on and we could reduce the height so then it looks like it's almost stamped into our object and that would have if you'd have had to originally model that in that would have been quite a difficult thing to have to put into your model so it, all, it would come out on your actual normal map when you export out from substance so that's a really easy way you can make anything you want within this you could put any shape that you like and make any number of alphas that you might want this is an alpha that I have made before I can you'll need to click back on your actual masked area click on your alpha again and you can see that there's my alpha that I want to paint on so I might want it really big on here I'll just click and seen as though it shares the exact same um, details as the um, ST that I put on it looks like it's been indented on the back 
of the object itself and you can see it placed on your UV map if you need to do so. So that's just a really easy way to be able to bring in your alphas and paint them pretty much onto a model depending on however you need to do them so it's quite it's good for screws any extra details or anything that weren't originally in your normal map which might be quite easy to do with sort of just stamping an alpha so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers